All right, so for the governor removal, first thing you want to do is um, if you don't have a torque wrench, line up the uh, with a sharpie or something, line up the things so when you tighten them, then they're torqued to the right amount of pounds. And then we already have the, all the bolts loose, but you're going to want to then loosen all the bolts, take them out, and take off the side cover. Okay, so now. Be careful that you don't pull up the cam shaft or any of that and take it off. There's the governor gear. So next, um, take off your air filter box. That way it's not in the way for um, the springs when we remove them. Okay, so there's a hose there you need to remove. And then your box should just slide right off. Okay, so now you want to remove the rod and then both of the two springs here. Okay, so both rods. Or, um, both springs and the rod are removed. So, uh, next is the governor arm removal. So, you're just going to want to get some, um, I guess, sharpened pliers. And then, our uh, bolt is already loose for this. So, first you remove that. And then next, there's going to be a pin under. You're going to want to remove... That way it can slide up and off. So there's the pin you remove and then you're gonna take off the arm up top. So you just um, try to widen the hole or the there's like kind of a part it clamps down right here. You're gonna try to open it up that way it slides off easier. And we just use the pliers to come in and open up the hole. The shaft gets in the way when you're trying to take off the arm. So we ended up pulling it back up and then um, we're going to cut the top so it shortens it down and we're able to pull it out from the bottom. Okay, so um, if I can get this to focus. So we snapped it off right there and uh, here's the piece. We just used the pliers and rocked it back and forth until it's... Alright, mm, so taking good. out the arm. So, arm is out. That's what the arm looks like. So there's a cap, and then under the cap is a clamp that holds the governor gear on. So, we're going to take the cap off. So the cap is off, and then... Oh, it's hard to see on camera. But right behind that spacer, there's a clamp. After we pull that space off, we'll come back. You can see the clamp right there at the back, but right there where the flathead is at. That's the clamp. So basically, you're going to grab a hammer and use the flathead to try to spread that clamp apart, and then you'll be able to take your gear out. Okay, you can see the clamp. It's really split right now, and we're going to slide it off so you guys can see. So that's what the clamp looks like. It just holds the governor gear on. There it is. And then that's the cap we took off and then the washer. And then you should be able to just slide the gear right off. We uh, ended up just hammering and breaking the governor gear. So, it broke. We broke it off and then just took it out. And then, this is a washer that's behind the gear and it sits at the very back right there. And, um, it's obvious it's not there anymore because we took it off. But, you're going to need to get that one. You might not see it, so. So, I'm telling you. Okay, so, um, the next step would be, um, taking off the oil sensor. But, um, I guess... These guys already took it off. But, um, so, 
there was another piece, but they decided to throw it. But anyways, it's just simple. It's like bolted in, and then you just unbolt it and take it out. And then I'll we'll be showing you what you do next for these holes. This one from the governor arm, and then this hole right there for the oil sensor. We'll show you what to do for those holes in a sec. So yeah. All right. <clears throat> So for the next step, to fill in the hole where the governor arm is, I've already got it part with threaded, so um, it's going to be a bit easier, but what you want to do, just find a random bolt laying around that's just uh, barely bigger than the hole, and then obviously yours isn't going to just thread in this easy as mine, um, because I've already got mine part with threaded. But So what you want to do is um, just get a random bolt and then just start threading it in. It'll be a little bit harder than this. And then... <clears throat> after it's fully threaded, you put Loctite. That way it doesn't come out. So like, I got it fully threaded. Now after it's threaded, you want to pull it back out. Now you're going to need some of this, shouldn't really matter what brand, but um, you just want to get some Loctite and then apply it on here. Okay, so this is good, good amount, then you um, put it back in, So, um, next is going to be filling in the oil sensor hole, and it'll be the same as this, except you're actually not going to have to thread it, you're just going to want to buy a bolt that, um, slides right in, and then you're going to, um, take the other, um, nut that came with the oil sensor, and because if you put it in that way, the uh, shaft is going to hit it, so you're going to put it in going this way, so that way it's only sticking out like that. And then you're going to put some Loctite on and then put the nut on. Okay, so that's how it looks with the bolt in the hole of the oil sensor. Mm, that's Loctite. Okay, um, we're basically finished. Um, we're on like one of the last steps. Um, well, I've already done it, but what you want to do, I switched up my gasket because, and I would recommend you guys do it too, because it, um, it's like really worn down and stuff from being taken off and put back on, and so it's probably like ripped or really bad shape, so I'd replace that, and then you need to put your side cover back on and torque the bolts to, um, nine pounds, I think it is, and... There should be a sheet that tells you how many pounds to torque it to. And then after that, like I got my clutch on. Um, and if you don't got a torque wrench, you can put a line here from up here to the tip of the bolt. So when you put them back on, you can see how far to put the bolt in. Okay, as you can see, my motor looks pretty assembled right now. Um, I did take my side cover off though. It's right here. Because... One, I'm going to be painting it, and two, it's going to be a lot easier to do your throttle linkage when your um, side cover isn't on. So, um, what you want to do is get like a metal coat hanger and make your own linkage directly from the throttle arm to the um, carburetor throttle. And then, this is the one I have set up. I have it running from there to right there under the throttle arm, or you could set it up right there on that hole or you could set it up where I have my return spring and that's another thing after um, setting up your throttle I would get another return spring because it just helps it it returns a lot better but 
I think that is it. So, um, yeah. Thanks for uh, watching and comment, rate, subscribe, and stay tuned for any other how-to videos.